Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today what I want to do is introduce you to a part of MicroCap that you may not have found yet, but it is a special tool that MicroCap provides for filter design, both passive and active. It's really powerful and it's really cool and it's also really easy to use. So even if you're not familiar on how to do this kind of filter design, what I'm going to show you today, hopefully, will give you the tools to at least uh, get around this tool and to learn how to punch buttons and see what happens. <laughs> Have a little fun. So, you know, what I like to know, this is going to be the introduction and just kind of to show you where this tool is on how to design these filters. Now, filters, you know, we have our low pass that lets the low frequencies through and filters off the high frequencies and then you have your high pass right just does the opposite you have your band pass which only lets a band through and filters out the highs and lows and then you have your notch filter that pretty much lets the highs and lows through but blocks out this notch right here okay so you can do all these kind of filter designs in this both passive and active like I said so active you use op amps passive just passive components capacitors inductors and resistors all right so the other thing you can do is you can do the main three types of filters that are used there's the bezel function there's the elliptical and the butterworth okay and uh i think it shows i think those are the three main ones it shows we're going to jump into a we'll look at it okay but i'd like to know what you guys want to learn from this so I've already started some series of videos where I've shown some passive filter designs, but I haven't used MicroCap to do it, so I'm going to uh, do that again, cover it again. But I want to do it, uh, you know, fairly quick, make fairly short videos to make it you know, interesting and not go on too long, and basically show you how to use a tool. Because with the tool, with a little bit of knowledge, you can play around and, and learn a lot from just, you know, playing around with the Microsoft software. Because <laughs> you can, you know, it's like being at the bench, but even quicker, you can change the resistor value, inductor value, you can do all these things. And what happens is you actually put in the parameters you want. You want the roll off to be at one kilohertz. You don't have to do the math and everything, it just does it for you. Now, the videos I did before, I showed how to use the math. And what I'm going to do in the videos to follow, I'm going to kind of show both, okay? But we're going to use the MicroCap software to demonstrate how to do it. So anyway, this is just the first video in the series. And let me know what you think of it. And if you have ideas about what you like to see, applications for these filters. Because it always makes more sense when there's an actual application that you're going to apply it to, right? At least I think so. So let me know. Let's jump into it and let me show you what... This thing looks like it's pretty impressive. All right, guys, so here we go. We've got MicroCap open, right? Now, what I want to do is come up here to this tab right here, Design. And then you come down, you have Active, Passive. Let's start with Passive. So you got this explanation up here, your stop band, your pass bands, and then down here, some... Uh, spice information, but you don't have to worry about any of that right now. Uh, you can see the circuit right here, right? You got your resistor, inductor, capacitor, inductor, uh, resistor. Now these are 300 ohms here, 300 ohms here. These are your load resistors. And what if you have 50 ohm load resistors? Well, come over here to your implementation and change this to 50 ohms or whatever 75 ohms 100 ohms you know whatever you want and it automatically changes the values of the parts to try to give your optimized uh, filter uh, with your load and source impedances okay now right now i've got this click on the dual circuit so let's go to the standard circuit okay now look at that, you have a Pi, you got your capacitor here, inductor, capacitor, these capacitors are the same value. You go back to your dual, 
where you have a pi but inductor capacitor inductor so see so here's i guess dual meaning dual inductor and standard in this case uh, resistor values now these are exact resistor values you're not going to find now actually the only resistors in this circuit are are the source and load impedance so yes you're gonna they're gonna be 50 ohms but you have these options of changing these values like these capacitors like for instance a capacitor you're not gonna find that exact value so instead of saying exact you can say oh I want uh, combinations of resistor values or a single part value so you can hit these kind of things and here let's just set these up I'll set that single and this to combo just for fun and here's the preferences too so you can come over here and you can say oh okay so for resistors they're standard there's a library and you know sorry guys I have LT spice running as well so it's LT just sees files that it thinks belongs to LT and it names them. So these are microcap. <laughs> By the way, if you want to see me do LT spy stuff, I'll show you that too. It's not as powerful as microcap, but still it's a good tool. Now here's carbon type resistors, metal film or standard. Let's just choose metal film. Okay, so now we got metal film. So when it chooses values, it's going to choose values that are a standard metal film and 0.1% well this is 0.1% up here what if we only want 1% 0 0.1 is kind of crazy but you know maybe we need that kind of exactness so so that's where you, you can set up your values of your parts so it actually finds real values like capacitors poly caps there's a polycarbonate polypropylene polystyrene and standard so that's pretty cool let's say we want to stick with polypropylene okay then same with inductors let's see our inductors okay we got generic and standard so uh, let's we'll stick with standard on the, in this case so this is how powerful this tool is and not only tries to find values for the filters you're going to do but it tries to find real parts that you can actually find so okay so that, that is under this tab implementation so this is how you're going to imp implement your filter and here's some options over here and polynomial format you know it's this is some math stuff that um, we've got set component values or engineering so you can just kind of look over this stuff for yourself right now uh, we'll talk more about this stuff later but let's go back to the design this is the fun tab now see this yellow this is your pass band so this is a low pass filter so it's going to pass these low frequencies and at some frequency it's going to roll off and here's your cutoff frequency FC you can come up here and you can say high pass you can see how these things change uh, band pass and watch your circuit changing over there and here's your notch okay now in each one of these cases uh, let's go back to low pass you have mode one and mode two so let's go to mode two now up here there'll be a little bit of explanation okay you got your cutoff frequency a thousand hertz and you've got your ripple one db you know it's going to try to meet the this criteria up here when it f chooses these values okay so we go back to mode one kind of bounce around here but your stop band it's 2000 hertz so it's really the filter is really going to try to stay within this boundary as it cuts things off now this is the Chebyshev uh, filter you can also go to the Lipit or you can go to Butterworth and you can see how your circuit changes for each one of these things and whoops hold on a sec sorry and also you can go to this mode too and watch how it changes for each one of these okay so uh, and also these poles and zeros it gives you the values over here in this far right corner now 
this is where you get you know punch in the value you want or the order of the filter maybe you only want a second order filter instead of a third order okay so low pass filter okay i'm only going to go to the second order okay how about mode one uh, and and over here on the response, it shows you the order of filters you're going to get. So that's where the orders um, when you're in this mode one, okay. And then mode two, it's see I've got second here. What if I put? I wonder if I put fourth order. What it'll do? Yeah, look at that. And then see how it changes these things over here. Okay, so we're getting a warning there saying hey we're got some limits so that's how cool this thing is okay this is your passive filter design but now we want to see some curves right well what you can do is oops doesn't like that okay so you know what we're going to go over here we're going to drop this down to third order okay but here's your filter right here you can grab this box right here make this bigger and by the way, uh, it'll show you this box right in here. Hit that default. And then once you do that, you go back to Bode. It kind of stays there. And here's a step response. Okay. And again, this window, you can blow this window up. So it takes up the whole screen if you want. And you can take this little... You know, you can use all these things like you can normally in Microcap, okay? So, you can do all these kind of things with this. Move these windows around. And there's a lot of flexibility, okay? And uh, you got the impulse as well, okay? So now I've got, I've got my impulse response, my step response, and my body plot. So... Yeah, it's pretty powerful, pretty cool. And once you've decided, okay, then you can close these things, of course. Once you've decided, okay, yeah, I want to play with this a little bit more. I think I'm I think I've got the theme designed. I want to work with it a little bit more. Then you say okay. And okay, it's gonna overwrite something. We're gonna let it do it. And then here it is. So it comes up the circuit. That circuit that we designed is in this little box. Here's the input and here's the output. Okay. And here's our impulse and here's our step machine. So now we can come up to analysis if we want. Do the transient. And we can go to output. And it's in step mode right now. So we'd have to switch over to, to impulse to get the impulse set up. Okay, or we can just come up here and close that and say, no, let's look at the AC analysis and go to this. There's my body plot. You know, there's all the flexibility of this. Okay, I'm just going to close these guys. Get rid of, uh, I don't want to save that. Just get rid of that. There's some second circuit I opened or the first one I opened. Okay, let's go back to design. Let's go to uh, active. That's more fun, right? So now we're in active, low pass. I mean, look at that. Here's the, over here, the order of the filters we have from four all the way down. And look at this, we actually have, there's a bezel that I was talking about before. We have an inverse Chebyshev. So let's go ahead and just click down and see, watch the circuit change. It's pretty dramatic in some of these, right? Okay, that one looks pretty simple. Let's come down here and hit mode two, okay? Now, so this will help you learn, understand, you know, these definitions too, uh, just kind of playing around. But look at all the uh, knobs you can turn, your pass band, your, all, all these different things here you can play around with, okay? And again, you go back to your default, or you go to your body plot there, and there we go. That looks pretty cool. See, it looks like this little window up here, but there's a frequency. You see how it tries to stay within those boundaries. And again, you can do your step and the impulse. And you can blow these windows up. You can 
go play with these all you want you know zoom in on response there drop those windows out uh, your implementation a little bit different with your op amp now here's your resistor values the same kind of thing you can set that up your preference same kind of thing go get your libraries what you want okay and then you also can play with the different stages of your of your filter okay and yeah you got this you know so a lot of this stuff is similar to the passive it's just kind of set up differently you got some extra things because of the op amp yeah i just wanted to kind of show you around here's the band pass looks pretty cool right let's get rid of this so we can see the circuit so there's your different stages and here's all the things you can play with and again you can you know change to all your different filters here okay so i just wanted to kind of show you this because this is super powerful and for you guys that design these filters i mean you might be thinking like right now like holy cow this is awesome you know um some of you guys that this is new it might look a little overwhelming at first but you know well We'll kind of cover this and make it look a little bit more understandable and at least so that you can get enough to play around with it you know we'll look at these circuits and kind of walk through you know kind of simplify them a little bit okay all right hope you like that all right guys so what do you think pretty cool right uh so yeah again comments below uh, thumbs up my patrons really appreciate you guys and by the way i'm i i did a survey i'm going to show my patrons at the end of my videos after this video i got to put that list together and anyway i had to give a chance to get everybody to respond so i'm going to go ahead and do that because i just like to give them the kudos and you know there's uh one or two or whatever that want to be private and you know the rest of the people you know i'm going to show their names okay so anyway hey thanks a lot and um We'll see you next time.